Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I'm just loading it on my computer and then we will get started. So today I have three projects for you using the Nature's Beauty stamp set. So that's this stamp set here. It's kind of hidden. It's on the very back cover of our holiday catalog, so page 63. And it includes all of these um, like sketch images. So you can just stamp them or you can color them in using your Stampin' Blends or watercolor pencils, whatever you like coloring with the most. And today I am just going to show you um, two cards and a gift tag using this stamp set. I have combined it with the two part um, stamp set um, itty bitty greetings. So you have 32 greetings to choose from on pretty much any occasion you would need a card for. You can use this one. It's a really nice, versatile stamp set. I'll show you one card I have. Um, video on Facebook and YouTube for already is this, a little hello. I use this as a baby card. And let's get started. So I've chosen Night of Navy for our colors th this morning. You will start with a Knight of Navy card base that's fold or cut the long ways. So it's four and a quarter by scored at five and a half. So I'll fold that in half. Then I have a layer of Whisper White that is five by or five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to adhere that right to our card base. Add that right on here. Then I have another layer that's five and a quarter by four, so the same size as our previous one, that we're going to stamp some images for the inside of our card. So I'm just going to ink up the little branch image and stamp that a couple times, and then we have our grass. So there's the inside of our card, so we can adhere that layer. Now for the front of our card, I have a layer, another layer of Whisper White is five by three and three quarters. And we are just going to stamp some background images. So the same is kind of what we did on the inside. So three of those and then some grass. Then on a scrap piece of Whisper White, we will stamp our deer image. So the stamps are really nice detail there. And this one we are going to fussy cut out. So I have done that off camera so you didn't have to watch me do that. I will add some dimensionals to him. Maybe a mini one just on his head. And we'll add that right in our foliage that we stamped. Just like that to give him 
a little bit of depth. And then our sentiment, I'm going to stamp from the Itty Bitty Greeting stamp set. It says, With Gratitude. And I'm just going to stamp it, make sure it's not upside down, in this corner here. So an, a simple stamping card, monochromatic, so you're only using one color of ink, all, using lots of Whisper White cardstock, and then tying it in with your card base. So then I'll center that on our card front. And there is our first card. So in just a few minutes, you have your first card finished. Now for the next one, we'll do our tag next because it's using all the same stamps. So I have a piece of Whisper White that's four and a quarter and I've cut the top off with our tag topper punch. That is this punch here. So you can cut the two inch tag this is two inches wide by four and a quarter. And instead of um, fussy cutting our deer and putting him on our card front, I have stamped it on a scrap of Whisper White and cut it out right along the line. So you'll see this one that I fussy cut, I left a, a narrow white border along the lines. This one I cut right on the line. So I'm going to just place it where I want him on our tag and do the same thing. Oh, before we do that, we need to actually stamp him. <laughs> so stamp him where you want him on your tag. And now that I have him on there, make sure it's dry. Then our one that we've cut out, I'm going to place right on top of him to cover him up. So now, this is called the masking technique. I'll just hold his feet down and I'll stamp my same images just around him. And then you can see that when you lift him off, then you have background behind him, but it doesn't overlap his body. So I'll put him back one more time and just do a little bit of grass. There we go. So you can use this one as many times as you want to get the same effect. So he's masked off. And then a simple greeting I have out of the same set. It says for you. So you could use this for Christmas or you could use it just for a birthday. This is a great masculine set or your for your hunters in your life. Now I have a, about a nine inch piece of our denim ribbon. Yes, denim three eighths inch ribbon. It actually matches the dinosaur, dino roar suite in our annual catalog. So I'll push this through to the back and pull it through and now you have a nice gift tag. You can write their name on the back. You could st also stamp to and from on the back if you wanted or you can just adhere it to the gift. So that's project number two. And for our last project a few more supplies in this one. We have our Knight of Navy card base that I will fold in half. Then I have a layer that I've embossed with the, the tufted embossing folder. So this layer is five by four five and a quarter by four. I'll put my card base aside for a second. Then I have a strip of Whisper White that is two and a half by five and a quarter. And this is the layer that we're going to stamp on. So in Cajun Craze, I will stamp the fox image. 
and I'm going to kind of make my own designer series paper. So I'll stamp the fox random. Just like that. And then I'll also stamp it just on a scrap piece of whisper or on very vanilla that I'm going to punch out in a second. Then I have um, the, you could make a wreath out of it. I used it on a Christmas card to make a wreath. Um, just this foliage image that we're going to fill in the empty spots on our very vanilla paper. So I'll just fill in still random, just so you don't have any dead space, is what I like to call it, in your paper. So I've rotated them and made them fill in. So that piece is finished. Then on our inside piece, which is five and a quarter by four, my favorite measurement, I've stamped a few more just down the side just to continue the design onto the inside of the card, make it fancy. So that piece is done as well. Then I will punch out our scrap piece with the two inch circle punch. So center that up in there. There we go. And I'm layering that on one of our, oops. I'll layer this stamped image on one of our stitch circles. This is the second largest one. Yeah. We'll center that down there. Then on We'll get our card front back and our stamped piece. So I'll adhere our custom designer series paper onto our front layer. Just like this then I will adhere our stitch circle and our focal point in the center there we go and then I'm going to add our this is the Sahara sand and Knight of Navy Baker's twine in our annual catalog and I'm just going to wrap it around Maybe I want to do, I have two lengths of it cut. It's about 20 inches probably. I'm going to wrap it around here and tie a bow on this side. If you don't like tying bows, or you would rather a knot, you can do just a square knot on the one side. Then just make your loops even. Maybe this one. There we go. And then I'll just trim my ends off. There we go. So I have a nice bow on this side. Then we can stamp our sentiment. I'm going to use the same one that I used on my first card because I'm going to give these a gift set. So just on a strip, um, half inch piece of very vanilla, I'm going to stamp our with gratitude. 
Then I'm going to use the tailored tag punch to make my banner end. You can also use the triple banner punch if you have that. And then this side, well, maybe I didn't need to do that. That's okay, we'll tuck that under. I actually wanted to do this side. About there. Then I'm just going to tuck this under my strip there. So that's okay, we'll hide that extra banner end that we didn't need. So I'll adhere that. Maybe if I have glue. There we go. So I'll just tuck that in under my edge. And there's my sentiment. Then I can put, because we have this ribbon or the twine that gets kind of bulky if you try and glue it down flat, I'm going to add this layer up on dimensionals. Take these backings off. Sometimes they get stuck to my hand instead. So then I'll center that on our card base. Just like that. And our last step, I have these gems or enamel dots that are, I think they're called the happiness blooms enamel dots that I'm going to add just the Knight of Navy ones and I'm going to center them kind of around our sentiment so there's three sizes and I'll put them just like this now our last step is to adhere our pre-stamped very vanilla layer on the inside of our card. So there's the inside. Lots of room to write your message. If you wanted to stamp another greeting on the inside you could as well. So there is our third project. So it didn't take me long to make those using the Nature's Beauty stamp set. If you'd like to receive project kits for these three projects, all you have to do is email me um, that you'd like to order the stamp set. If every order that I get for this stamp set will include the three make and takes. So if you email me and I can order it for you, or you can go to my online store, stampinstorytellers.blogspot.com. On the top right hand corner, there is a button that says the current host code and then it says shop with me. So you click there and you can enter your order online and it'll ship directly to you. One more class I have coming up is my Christmas stamp a stack. And this is another project I made using the Nature's Beauty stamp set, the deer and the same foliage. So everybody that signs up to attend one of my stamp a stack classes, they are hosted on November 24th and December 2nd. So the 24th is a Sunday afternoon. The December 2nd is a Monday evening. You email me and let me know which designs you would like. These are the 12 or the nine cards you can choose from. Then you choose up to four designs and you make four of each design. And then you will receive this box to hold them in as well. So it's a great value for how many cards you make. You make four of each design with envelopes. And if you order the Nature's Beauty stamp set, you'll also get these three make and takes. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed my live video. Thanks. Bye.